Welcome to the Myrtle Beach Art Museum's Virtual Library After School Program. This workshop is called What a Relief and is inspired by Sarah Farrington's Model Home on exhibit through December 20th. Meet Sarah Farrington, an installation artist who grew up right here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. She is an alumna of Coastal Carolina University. After teaching for six years in Horry County, she moved to North Carolina, where she received her MFA at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. She is currently an elementary art teacher living in Raleigh with her husband and two cats. As I mentioned, Sarah Farrington is an installation artist. Installation art is a term used to describe large-scale mixed-media constructions, often designed for a specific place or for a temporary period of time. Welcome to Sarah Farrington's Model Home. Model Home is an installation of staged domestic space using heavyweight drawing paper to create everything from furniture to light switches, to plants, and to even the ceiling fan. Sarah creates and uses geometry nets to make many of her paper sculptures. A geometry net is a flat pattern that you can cut and fold to make a model of a solid shape or form. For example, if you were to take an empty tissue box and unfold it, you would see the net or pattern used to make it. Sarah made this net of a tissue box, and here you can see her creation process for drawing, cutting, and folding the net into a solid form. This is a net for a light bulb. It looks a lot more complicated than the net for the tissue box. Sarah must work all of this out to create her sculptures. Isn't it fascinating how math is very much part of the creation process for her artwork? The model home is a symbol of the American ideal, the perfect domestic space marketed specifically for status an unattainable goal for many. Every piece in the installation, including plants, is the same off-white color, creating a sense of blankness and lifelessness. It also creates a sense of perfection that would be near impossible to achieve in a real home. Standing in the installation feels a bit unnerving. I felt a desire to sit and make myself comfortable Yet I know that because the furniture is made of paper, it would most likely collapse beneath me and I'd fall to the floor. Sarah purposely chose paper because of this fragility, to signify lower quality housing that is built for speed and cost, not for craftsmanship or longevity. Now it's time for an art project. Today, we're gonna create Radial Relief Sculptures. In art, a relief is a wall-mounted sculpture in which the three-dimensional elements are raised from a flat base. These are the materials you will need. A 9 by 12 inch piece of construction paper, paper of different colors cut into 8 3 by 3 inch squares, 8 2 by 2 inch squares, 8 1 by 1 inch squares, liquid glue or glue stick. If you picked up an art kit from one of the participating libraries, inside your art kit you will find a piece of paper that explains two different types of folds, the hat fold and the kite fold. I'm going to start with the 3 by 3 inch squares. I'm going to fold them into the kite fold but you can choose whichever fold you want or feel free to explore other folds or create your own. 
the kite fold is similar to the first steps of folding a paper airplane. After I fold this first one, I'm going to fold the other seven 3 by 3 inch squares into the same fold. Next, select a fold for your 2 by 2 inch squares. I also am folding them into the kite. For the 1 by 1 inch squares, I've chosen to fold them into the hat fold. Each art kit came with a container of liquid glue and q-tips for applying it. If you have a glue stick, that works also. I folded my piece of paper both horizontally and vertically so that I could see the center. Next, you will want to figure out how you will arrange your design. I started with the largest pieces first. Once you know how you want to arrange them, you can start gluing them down. After you've glued down your largest pieces, start with the next size down. Lastly, decide where you want to put your smallest pieces. You have several options. I was going to put them here, but then I decided that I liked how the brown paper contrasted with the blue. We would love to see your creations. You can share them with us on Instagram or Facebook, either by tagging us or using the hashtag MBArtMuseum. Join me next month to virtually tour Maura Kenny's exhibit, Where the Rivers Flow, and learn different watercolor techniques for painting wild waterscapes inspired by the Pedi and Waccamaw Rivers. Thank you to our generous sponsors and supporters. Thank you to our library partners. Thank you to our amazing interns, Dana and Zoe, for all your help with preparing the art kits.